Thing. This term, injuries to key defenders have hindered the team from nailing down a consistent run of results and performances. Diogo Dalit remains the only first-team defender not to have picked up a physical setback. With the future of the likes of Rafael Verani, Johnny Evans, Harry Maguire and Victor Lindelof far from secure, central defence has widely been tipped to be the main priority for United. However, according to Romano, the left-back role will also be addressed by the club.at the moment. Eric Ten Hag has no senior and fit left-back available for selection. Both Luke Shaw and Tyrell Malaysia are currently out with long-term injuries Shaw has missed large parts of the campaign and has been in and out of the treatment room. The Englishman has only managed 15 appearances across all competitions. Malaysia has yet to play even a single minute of action this term. The Dutchman got injured during pre-season and suffered an undisclosed setback during his recovery. Ten Hag recently expressed doubts about whether Malaysia will at all feature for United before the season draws to a close. Shaw is also very unlikely to play competitively before the campaign ends. Ten Hag will almost certainly have to see out the rest of the season with no natural left back. Lindelof has been mandated to occupy that position in the meantime. Sofian Amrabat can also play there but much like Lindelof, is not really effective. According to Romano, Manchester United have already planned months ago to bring in a new left back in the summer. Expected to be a young one, an important player. Shortlist to be decided once board structure will be completed but Manchester. United will go for LB, no matter what happens with Malaysia. The upcoming window is gradually shaping up to be a pivotal one in United's history. Rafael Verani, Casemiro's Everton display proving Ineo's summer TR. Bruno Fernandes stuns as Man United get back to winning ways in 2-0 match report. Manchester United 2-0 Everton, Man United News and T. Three things we learned as Manchester United ease past Everton in two, Manchester United 2-0 Everton, player ratings. Man United News and Eric Ten Hag Fabrizio Romanoluk Shotirel Malaysia. Derek Canotti is a football writer at the People's Person who has covered Manchester United and the game extensively for many years. He is a keen analyst with expertise in SEO and journalism standards. Derek is convinced Wayne Rooney is the true GOAT and won't hear otherwise. Fabrizio Romano has revealed that Manchester United's prospects of selling Case Moreau in a big-money summer deal remain alive. Having starred in his first season at Old Trafford, Case Miro has struggled to make a similar impression this time around. Although the Brazil international is under contract until 2026, Man United are expected to cut their losses and sell the 32-year-old in the summer should a suitable bid come in as Sir Jim Ratcliffe targets a new-look team for next term. Ronaldo was wrong. Saudi Pro League a massive flop as embarrassing TV figures revealed. Big European clubs are unlikely to be willing to spend big on a player who appears to be past his best, yet football transfer specialist Romano says that interest from the Saudi Pro League remains. For Case Miro at the moment talks are not advanced, but the interest from Saudi is still there. Romano confirmed on the daily briefing they were interested in the midfielder last summer, and then again around October slash November some. Calls were made to intermediaries to understand the situation. It's important to mention that there was never a concrete proposal put to Manchester United. Let's see what will. Manchester United are keen on signing the Inter Milan midfielder Nicolo Barella. 
A report from Interlive claims that the 26-year-old Italian international is on their radar, especially if Dan Ashworth takes over as their transfer chief this summer. Barella was a target for Ashworth during his time at Newcastle United as well. The report claims that Manchester United could put an offer of around €80 million Euros on the table for the midfielder. Barella is undoubtedly one of the best playmakers in Serie A and he would be a coup for the Red Devils. Manchester United look like a League Two side under Eric Ten Hag, say furious fans after latest defeat. Manchester United could offer 60 million euros for 26-year-old Brazilian ace. What Chelsea owner Todd Bowley was doing while Chelsea were playing versus Brentford. Nicolo Barella transfer, Manchester United need to sign a quality midfielder. Manchester United are in desperate need of someone who can stitch the play together and control the tempo of the game. Barella will initiate transitions from the deep as well with his close control, flair, agility and vision. Manchester United signed Sofian Amrabat at the start of the season on loan to play alongside Case Miro. The Moroccan has been a major flop for them so far and they need to bring in an upgrade. Barella would be a superb option to have. It remains to be seen whether the player and Inter Milan are open to move now. Inter Milan are well placed to win the league title this season and Barella might feel that joining a club in transition would not be a good idea, especially his current team flying high. Manchester United might not be in the Champions League next season either. It will be interesting to see how the situation develops over the next few months. Man United reach verbal agreement, must pay £21 million to secure key signing, reports. Ineos bought 25% of Manchester United in exchange for sporting control, and the first key signing they want to secure is that of a sporting. Director Newcastle United Sporting Director Dan Ashworth is on the radar at Old Trafford and reports indicate that the Red Devils have even verbally agreed to lure him. The 53-year-old lured Sandro Tonali for the Magpies in the summer but failed in the pursuit of Barella. Now, he could push to secure the midfielder if he joins the 20-time English champions, according to Shields Gazette. There is no set release clause in Ashworth's contract but the deal is complex and prevents him from joining United with ease. The news source have mentioned that Newcastle United want a compensation fee of £21 million to send their sporting director to Man United. Talks have progressed lately but for now, the St. James Park outfit are not interested in lowering the asking price. So. Man United must pay £21 million to secure the signature of Dan Ashworth over the years. Multiple big money signings have failed at Old Trafford and United cannot afford to waste money anymore. Therefore, an efficient sporting director in the form of Ashworth must be brought to improve the quality of the squad. In your view, should Man United pay £21 million to hire his services? Former Chelsea manager Thomas Tuchel is reportedly interested in the Manchester United job when he leaves Bayern Munich in the summer. Meanwhile, the Red Devils have received a huge boost in their bid to sign Mark Gahey with Crystal Palace reportedly eyeing up replacements. Elsewhere, Man United are favourites to sign Victor Osimhen this summer. And we have all the latest as the English giants prepare to face Everton this weekend. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has opened up on his potential return to management. He has been without a job since being sacked by Man United in 2021. Solskjaer addressed rumours about his return to the dugout while appearing on the Overlap Stick to Football podcast. The Norwegian said, I have a few offers, but I'm not ready. It's got to be somewhere I can be myself not like anyone dictating you need to do this, you need to.